had a dream last night that it was the best episode we've ever done. So uh, I couldn't sleep the rest of the night, got in here, fired up the old machine, and I'm now waiting on these guys, and I am loose. I got a little bit of a sweat going. The hammies are pliable, flexible, and the jaw muscles are ready to really ask some tough questions and giggle at my funny little friends, Sean and Will. Guys, welcome to Smartless. Smart. Hi guys! Shut up, Sean. Oh my God! <laughs> I've never, I haven't laughed, laughed so hard as I did today, today. when God, we were standing funny. on the street. We'd just come out of a, <clears throat> a meeting, the three of us, like adults, and, like adults. And Sean, Sean starts yeah. to say something, and he, like he's doing right now, he he uh, undoes a, a top of a bottle of water, and he's about to take a sip, and or no, he, he's going to do it, and Jason slaps it out of his hand. And lands on the ground and it lands just on the a ground. Fun, just a kind fun, of fun little hair pull. Yeah, just, yeah, just a little, little fun, yeah, fun, just fun. A plastic right? bottle, nothing broke. Plastic bottle. So I reach down to grab it because it falls at my feet, and I hand it to Sean. And as he reaches for it, I just drop it right before he can grab it, like a so child. Now that's twice. That's twice. That's twice. I've been denied water. And as it lands on the ground, Sean reaches down to get it, and Jason kicks it. <laughs> And it goes flying, hits a curb, and goes under a parked, like, construction truck. It explodes. The top it comes explodes. flying so off. The water's everywhere. Fucking funny. I was and crying. I haven't laughed that hard. I fell to my because knees. Because it was so, it, it, it was high school all over again. It was, like, uh, <laughs> it was a little bullying. We were just, it, you know. <laughs> it was it made just me laugh. fun and stupid. Just God, I laughed. Clean fun. You know, um, like, Jay, did you like my cheesecake last night? Yeah. Cheese. Now, I, I would have... I would have liked it a little firmer, Sean. A little Yeah, it was a little too fluffed. You know, it was a little uh it wasn't as gooey as the last one, so I feel like we're we're making progress. I like the, the last one. No, I, I think... say this as a person who I can't even boil water. So it, the fact that you cook anything is incredible. It's no, no, very but, impressive. But also, I didn't know well either that I didn't I've never made whipped cream in my life. I didn't mm-hmm. know that you just pour Half and half, or whatever, in a bowl, and whip it, and you just start the special. Whip you just cream. start whipping it. I was, yeah. my it's mind right was blown. The title. You, I was like, oh, do you, you think just... it's a good idea that you've now learned how easy it is to make whipped cream? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think so. I think you know what I'm doing tonight. Yeah, you missed out on a good cheesecake last night. Well, I but know. then I found out. Then Sean told me that the secret ingredient that he did to drive an hour and a half for, yeah, uh, was a a, a, a a British uh, chocolate. Uh, Cadbury white chocolate bar? No, not Cadbury. It was another brand, but yeah. Another brand that we're not going to mention, I guess. We can um, if you want. It's called Milky Bar. Well, we already mentioned Cadbury, so I mean, <laughs> we're kind of committed. <laughs> but there's a, there's a, is that, is that a thing? Is that normal that there's a white chocolate candy bar in most cheesecakes? Well, no, no. I just melted it to make kind of like the creamy part, of, part. It was one of many ingredients. But it's, Sorry, it, listener, you, can if you thought you tuned into Smartless. It's, uh, it's cookless. <laughs> This week, <laughs> bakeless, bakeless. Yeah, um, yeah. Tasteless. No, I, I, and I, I was so obsessed with getting the ingredients right. I, I drove an hour and a half to get it because they don't sell them in the United States. And what did he do, Will, when he got so there? So you drove to another country. When he, when he drove an hour and a half away to get this, to, what oh. did he do while he was there? He's like, huh? Well, look, here's a here's a a, a rare um, uh, hamburger joint that we don't have near us. Yeah, Portillo's. Uh, oh, that's why Portillo's. You went. To Portillo's, yeah. yeah, and he put a big burger in his face and uh, and a shake too. I'll bet. Yeah, I got a shake, sure. a piece of cake, and I got fries Wait, and a hot a shake dog. and a Wait, piece we, of cake. You yeah. got a shake for lunch, piece mm-hmm. of cake, fries, and a hot dog. And then a, when you were, and then when two you were beef on your sandwiches. Way, it was that <gasps> two beef sandwiches, one two beef for sandwich. Scotty. And this and is when you were on the mission. Were you to driving pick up a school bus? White chocolate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, I had. I picked up the white chocolate. Were part. you buying for all the kids in the school bus? <laughs> <laughs> no, I never get it. So we, I bought like a little extra stuff and I put, I put it in the fridge. I'll heat it up later. Good for you. Thank you, mm-hmm. guys. Oh God. Yeah, let's get started. Oh wow, I thought we had, but yeah. this is really exciting, guys. Okay. Today, you're gonna freak out. Oh, it's your guest. It's my guest today. I'm so excited. We got my favorite. Red-headed firecracker here today. Uh-oh. She's a self-proclaimed computer nerd. And before becoming one of my all-time favorite full-fledged movie stars, 
She made people websites for free. In fact, at 14 years old, she performed a PowerPoint presentation titled Project Hollywood in order to convince her parents to let her drop out of high school and move to L.A. from Arizona to pursue her dreams of becoming an actress. Thankfully, that dream came true, so we could talk to her today. Her name is Emma Stone. <laughs> Whoa, Emma, Emma Stone! Stone. Emma Stone! Oh. <laughs> and Emma's oh, a little shot. under the weather. I'm a little under the weather. Oh, That's I can't okay. believe you showed up for Did us. Did you get though. into a big pile of bad coke last night, Emma? Listen, <laughs> you, you know thing. what? You've been there, you know right? What? Right. There's Jason? meetings for you. Yeah, listen, we're saving a seat for you. I know. Thank you. Are Thank you at you. home or in a hotel? I'm in a hotel. She's at a rehab. It's a home. <laughs> She's oh, live from our first ever Thanks for listener. having me. Yeah. What an opening. Emma's been up for four days, listener. <laughs> Emma, I don't think of you as a ginger, I guess, per se, when I think yeah, of me gingers. Neither. But I'm, you are. I'm blonde right now. No, 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 I'm not. I'm actually, I'm blonde. I have blonde hair right now, and I'm, and I'm, I was born blonde. Well, I was born oh. hairless, but but then I grew blonde hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hairless well, just, is my podcast. Name. Sure, <laughs> give us the full. Run. <laughs> Bravo. The uh, uh, yeah, then were, I dyed were, it red. Yeah, you were red for a while there. Yes, for a long time. So much so that people time. thought it was it was that you were natch red, uh, red uh, natch. But I but I'm not red natch. <laughs> but wasn't it true? My that mother's red natch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got to be careful with I that have word. A son, natch. I have a son who's a natch ginge. Oh, yeah. I, we love Stop a Natch it. Ginge. Oh, my gosh. Do we ever love a Natch Ginge? <laughs> this has gotten so filthy it's from gross. the very beginning. I know. Wait, it's Emma, fantastic. didn't you? That Natchy Ginge? That's why. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Do you need a second? <laughs> Take uh, a nap. I've, I've been up for days. <laughs> um, so excited you're on the show with us, Emma. <laughs> But wait, didn't you die it originally? Like w when you moved here and you felt like you weren't getting parts or something? I feel like I read something and then you thought maybe your talent, which your you know seeping talent, that that was. And that's good what I was telling everyone. Yes, and, and that's what I kept saying. And right. they went, "No, no, no, that hair has right. got to go." But that, but that you thought you had to dye your hair—is that true? Did I yeah, I I was because I I moved to LA when I was fifteen, and so all of the all of the things that I was auditioning for at that time were kind of, you know, like roles for 15-year-old girls at that time were a lot of girls that were very, I guess what I was up for was a lot of very blonde cheerleader-y kind of roles, right. and I didn't fit those very well. And so I thought if I dyed my hair brown, it would really set me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How'd that go? You know, it went great, Jason. Yeah, you got went some really great. Parts. I didn't, I didn't get any parts after that either. But a couple <laughs> years later, I... I auditioned for um, for Superbad, and um, mm -hmm. and I was at the the camera test for that. And uh, Judd Apatow said, "Well, maybe she could have red hair because the other girl in the movie, who's my best friend now, Martha McIsaac, mm -hmm. had brown hair." And so we dyed my hair red, and and the rest was you know. But was did is Sean's incredible research accurate? Were you really doing websites for people? Like, are you a computer person? I was in that. Uh, kind of, you know, 90s computer format. I don't know if you guys know, you know, Angel Fire, GeoCities, that kind of world where you yeah, did a very primitive yeah. HTML. This is mm -hmm. not coding by any means. I would not, if you, in fact, I don't have a computer now. They lent me this computer to be able to do this with you guys. Wait, oh, do you not do, you I'm do like you. a Neo-Luddite now. But I, back then, I was very into the internet and learning about, you know, building drop-down menus and things like that. I mean, primitive, like, 1998. What, wow. what are you Websites. looking for? When you're out there, you're looking, what are you looking for in a drop-down menu? <laughs> now, see, that's the thing. See, that's the thing. When you want somebody to step... And this keeps to, me up at night. Like, if you want somebody, if somebody's looking to step into a really elite drop-down menu. <laughs> yeah, if you're, if you're looking for what great drop-down menus. If you're in the market. No, okay. It needs to be clear, clear yeah, fonts. Oh, we're not passing. using any Comic Sans on my drop down. No, no, okay. no, no, no. We're, um, we're hitting Helvetica hard. You now are completely, uh, uh, you don't have a computer at all? I don't have a computer at all anymore. Come on. Wow. I really don't. What about an, what about an iPhone? I have an iPhone, but it's a very The incredible cracked... new iPhone 15. Um, I don't. Oh Sean, uh, is this sure. an ad you, you for the get, iPhone? Yeah, if you want to get rid of your old it is one, now. yeah, no, we're <laughs> done with that. Cycle's yeah. over. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> we enjoyed our experience, but oh, mama, was there a heavy rotation? On uh, yeah. That. 
<laughs> Sorry about that, America. Um, wait, so you do, but you do, do, do you do email off your phone then? I do email on my phone and I, and I uh, you know, just, just type it with my thumbs. So no social media, no nothing else. No. I love that. No. Come on. No. God, that's refreshing. Thanks so much. You know, I was thinking yesterday, I, I, I said to a friend of ours, uh, I says to him, I says. He says friend? I says friend, I says. Uh-huh. Yep. I said, we should imagine, imagine the reset this planet would get if we had no social media for six months. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Globally. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it'd be the pretty wild. The fucking reset would be incredible. What do you think would happen? Well, people would learn how to manage boredom, which I think is a lost talent. I know I try to teach my kids, like, it's okay if you're bored. That's actually a, 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 another word for relaxation. Like, mm. enjoy it. Take a breath. Being bored is okay. Like, not having anything to do with a red light or an elevator is a good time to kind of, like, reintroduce yourself to yourself for a minute. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know? Well, yeah. Do you ever do that thing, Emma, like, where you look at people? I've been doing a lot lately. Well, I don't know. Where I look around and I go... Everybody's on their phone every moment. If there's a if there's a down moment, yeah. and sometimes mm-hmm. it's reflexive because people are nervous or you know well, they feel yeah. insecure. Yeah. But when you you wake up in the morning, you don't have like a loop that you have to or that you like to do on a computer. Oh, with, this is uh, good. You, Hang on. Well, <laughs> no, but uh, you what's your computer have, loop? Well, you know, you hit the you hit the New York Times and your email yeah. and your calendar, and you kind of get your. I shit just together. do all that on my phone. Okay. So I'm probably actually on my phone more than people that have a computer. But see, what right. I'm picturing here is that mm. you've got no no reason or excuse to get up out of the out of the pillows. Correct. Right? You're still in the feathers. When you reach over, you grab just your in phone. The fe- I'm just in a pile of feathers. Yeah, we'll see you that. sleep you in a pile a- of feathers wow. for real. <laughs> what an yeah. angel. What a real angel. Yeah. I'm down. Well, with what that. like with a, you had a nice desktop, you could get out and into the living room and join the world. Get yourself a desktop. Get this out. Is right. a great, this is a great opportunity for a new segment I'm calling. JB, walk us through it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't want to follow my morning. All right, uh, so Emma, which one of your rad projects are we going to talk about today? We're gonna. There's so many, but I. Okay, so you answer that first. Oh, I don't know. Which one do you would like to talk about? I want to talk about like our best? childhood. I want to talk about all these good stuff. I want to talk about that it was your birthday last week. Happy birthday. What? Thank you so much. Happy yes. Thank I mean, you. lucky. Are we allowed to guess What'd the age? Do? Can we guess the age? Oh, this might be mean, but sure, go ahead. No, 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 Never. no. How about, I'm going to go with 24. Oh. 25. Will? I'm going to get real. Yeah, be okay. real. I'm not, not, not going to Will, Will and I worked together when I was, uh, I think, 19. Yes, oh, that's so true. Really? That was that's a true. long time ago. That oh, is he's true. going to win then. So wait, then, then yeah. wait. Then, Sean, you go next. Okay. I was going to say late 20s. <laughs> that's very cute, Sean, and sweet. <laughs> true. I really don't know. Are you truly north of 30? I'm north of 30. Oh, yeah. she, she, is, uh, she is 37. Come oh, on, 30, 30, 30, 35. You're 35. Su- you're the closest wow. by far. Really? You yeah, give 35. 35 so a young. Great That's name. so young. I, you don't young. look 37. I was just guessing based on what the information. Okay, was well, sure, well, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We did, we did, uh, we did uh, work. That was a long time ago. I know. What was it? What was the job? Do you remember? It was called the Rocker. The rocker. You didn't. <gasps> the Rocker. You didn't, wait, the Rocker. I still go, need oh, to wait. see. And what was the other one? I said I need to see the other day. Um, uh, Hot I, Rod. All right. Well, let's not go through mine. Emma, go tell everybody who is in The Rock. Nobody's seen it. Who is in The Rock? The cast is pretty hilarious. It was Rain Wilson. Yeah. Uh, Jason Sudeikis. Yep. Mm. You, Bradley yep. Cooper. Yep. Fred, Fred Armisen. Armisen. Yep. Uh, you. I need it. Who directed this? A guy named Peter Catania who directed The Full Monty. Peter Catania. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know, uh, John Glazer. John Glazer, oh, uh, yeah. the, the great John Glazer. <laughs> Who yes. did Hot Rod? Uh, Who directed Hot Rod? Was that that Akiva. wasn't Yorma, was it? Akiva? No, Akiva. Yeah, gotcha. But uh, the Akiva. cast was pretty. Uh, it was insane. pretty wild. Yeah, yeah, we were in Toronto. We were in Toronto, yeah. and I feel like you weren't there for that long. I was there for a couple months. I was there for a week, maybe. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and, what, and what kind of part were you playing, Emma? Uh, well, I was playing the bass. In a band yeah. that was fronted by, it was sort of a school of rock adjacent. Would you say, yeah, Will? Yeah, yeah, I would. Kind of story. Uh, Willie, what um, were you playing? Oh, I played the uh, lead singer of a uh, of a hair band. Yeah. <laughs> True story. You guys gotta band. check. You gotta check right? it out. <laughs> and Bradley was the guitarist, and Fred yep. was the the bassist. Yep. Uh, but it was uh, but it was fun. But yeah, I mean, you have not. I'm trying to think. You just have not stopped working and doing awesome stuff since 
the moment I became aware of you. You've just been yeah. like consistently just doing cool thing after cool thing, great film after great film. It's pretty remarkable. Not a lot of people... And rare. Basically yeah. saying, you haven't really done anything rare. as shitty as The Rocker since The Rocker, is what Will is saying. I've done right. way worse movies than Will The Rocker has. since The Rocker. I, oh, my God. subjective. Well, I think, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> it is good. Let's not go too deep through the IMDb or whatever. I wanted. I met you once very briefly. You were so kind years and years ago. Blah, blah, blah. You never remember. I think it was at SNL. But I was like, oh, my God, that's Emma Stone. And then, so when I did my research for the, for today, I didn't know that your name was Emily. I want to know these guys. Oh. I know why it's called Emma, but I want you to tell these guys why it's called, why you changed it to Emma. Yeah. And then I also want to know about your dog bakery thing that you worked at because I have a friend who lives in Arizona, who has a company. It's a do, it's a dog poop company. She picks up poop, dog poop for huh. you. Just call her and she picks up dog. But it was job. in Scottsdale. Oh, that's where I'm from. I know. That's why I was that's like, oh my amazing. God. We, well, my name was. Have taken. you noticed like there's been less dog poop around in, <laughs> when you go home? Uh, y you know, now that you mention it, Sean's friends. I mean, it used to be absolutely everywhere, just <laughs> piles of it. But her that's gig, her gig is just she's just a freelance. She just goes around freelance town poop. and she's yeah. looking for just spare poop that's unclaimed sure, and unpicked yeah, that's up. Yeah, that's just you call her up it. if you don't want to pick up your dog poop, and she <laughs> it's called poop patrol. Sherry's poop patrol. Who's compensating her? The city. Her, her clients. People who don't want poop in their lawn, man. Yeah. Wait, I'm, I'm what? confused. Wait, so, so you, you call her just to, so you just let your dogs kind of run free on your own lawn like all week, and then poop patrol oh, comes. Oh, like and, a gardener. And picks everything you come up, up. That's right. A gardener comes over, picks up the poop. Yeah. Like, and, and like, she's, if, but she's like not instead a of blowing the, the leaves and stuff, there's yeah, she picks a up poop. the poop. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Wow. I don't know, 30 jokes in there? <laughs> 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 I didn't know where to... Well, that's kind of why I brought it up. It's such a funny job. You take a tight five and gather them and then come back to us. <laughs> but wait, a dog bakery. You worked at a dog bakery when you were a teenager? Yeah, okay. I worked at a dog bakery when I when I moved to L.A. when I was 15 uh, called Three Dog Bakery at the Farmer's Market. At the Grove? At the Grove. I used to go there. You worked wow. there? Yes. Oh, for, my God. Well, I mean, not for long. For like maybe six months. Wow. Um, so wait, Shawnee, this was pre-Ricky? Yeah, this was years ago, years and years ago. This I, was when uh, I was 15, 20 years ago. Yeah, that's when I had my t two other dogs. I used to go there to shop for them. Do you think wow. that we ever ran into each other then? Probably. Maybe. Probably. Huh. I think, the, I think word would have gotten out that Will and Grace's Sean Hayes was there. I think you're right. I think I <laughs> right? would have told everybody. Uh -huh. Guaranteed. You probably should Guaranteed. Oh, my God. Okay, so we, I must not have been working those hours. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Smartless is sponsored by BetterHelp. So in my family, which includes my friends, my friends are my family, we give gifts for the holiday season, but it's becoming less about the gifts and more about the time spent with each other, which is really, really important, um, as, especially as you get older. So whether or not your family gives gifts during the holidays, you get to define how you give to yourself, right? And the holidays are a great time to do that. So whether it's by starting therapy, going easier on yourself during the tough moments, or treating yourself to a day of complete rest, remember to give yourself some love this holiday season. I always feel better going to therapy, and if it's taught me anything, it is to give back to myself. I always schedule time for myself, and I allow myself to not feel guilty if I sleep in one day or take a few moments for myself. So I hope you feel the same. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash smartlist today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash smartlist. We get support from Viore Clothing. This holiday season, spread some joy with the gift of Viore. Picture this, super comfy joggers, leggings that move with you, and cozy hoodies that make every day feel like a weekend. Or just picture me, because I'm wearing all of that right now. Viore's got the perfect blend of style and comfort for your loved ones, whether the gym buffs or just love looking good on the go. Wrap up warmth, smiles, and a touch of flair with Viore's active wear and athleisure. It's like giving a big cozy hug wrapped in a gift box. And let's be real, who wouldn't love that? Guys, you know the great thing about doing a podcast? I can wear anything I want. Guess what I wear? Viore. Because directly after doing these ads, I'm going to go to the gym. And I'm going to be wearing the same thing I'm in as I'm talking to you at the gym. 
Viore is an investment in your happiness. For our listeners, they're offering 20% off your first purchase. Get yourself some of the most comfortable and versatile clothing on the planet at viore.com slash smartless. That's V-U-O-R-I.com slash smartless. Not only will you receive 20% off your first purchase, but you'll also enjoy free shipping on any U.S. orders over $75 and free returns. Go to viore.com slash smartless and discover the versatility of Viore clothing. Thank you to State Farm for supporting this episode. Think of all the amazing things in life that are expressions of just you. For instance, the song you stream over and over again while you're in your 13th hour of gaming at four in the morning with all the lights off, trying not to wake up your roommates. Or the recommendations that you share with your friends on the top six comedy podcasts that are the best to listen to on your way to the gym and back. Or even your new haircut which may or may not be an epic bowl cut from the 90s and hopefully is. Everything that makes you, you, makes all the difference. State Farm believes insurance should work the same way. Your plan, your coverage selections can be personalized by you and the ability to choose the plan you want by picking the options that fit you. Like choosing to bundle your home and auto policies is what the State Farm personal price plan is all about. Getting the coverage you want at an affordable price just for you. So are you ready to make things personal? Call or go to statefarm.com today to create your State Farm personal price plan. Prices vary by state. Options selected by customer availability and eligibility may vary. All right, back to the show. Tell these guys why you changed your name from Emily to Emma. Well, it was originally my my name was taken at Screen Actors Guild. Right. Um, mm-hmm. When I got my card when I was 16. So and- it was an Emily Stone. Wow. And so I originally changed it to Riley because when you tell a 16-year-old that they can just change their name, right? you pick a cool name. And so I was like, I'll Riley's be Riley. Number one. You could have changed it to Emma, middle name Lee. Emma Lee Stone. Right? That you, that, oh. That I don't work. know if I could pull off being a three-namer. Fuck, is there any way you could call her 20 years ago? Could you call me 20 years ago really quick? <laughs> yeah, 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 real quick. Hold just on one second. Back. We'll pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll just... That is, <laughs> that is a real thing, though, right? Th- that is a real thing, though. All people who change their names because of SAC. Because there's right. already somebody... Yeah. Michael J. Fox, I think, was because there was already a Michael Fox, right? One of the great ones is, isn't... Uh, I feel like Michael Keaton is Michael Douglas. Oh, wow. Oh, really? Oh, and he yes. changed his last name to Keaton because yes. Michael Douglas was Wait, Michael Douglas. I just learned, I just learned Albert Brooks's real name is Al- Albert Einstein. That's, I did not that's know that. No. Yep. Swear to God. Yeah. Yeah. Swear to God. That's yeah. unbelievable. Well, his brother was Bob Einstein, you know, yep. Super Dave Osborne. That was Bob Einstein, and that's Albert's Whoa. brother. Or was. Yep. Yeah. But anyway, Emily to Emma. Emily to Emma. Because? Well, th- because you're trying to get to the Spice Girls reference. Right yes. yes. You should yes. change your name to Albert Einstein, because that, cause that was free. <laughs> that's true. That one's free now. Not yeah, being okay. used anymore. <laughs> Wait, so, um, you, so you went to Emma. I went to Emma because well, growing up, I was uh, an enormous, I mean, still to this day I am, but an enormous, an enormous, sorry, I'm um, I'm slurring from all right, of the, been, I've been up for four to, days. You need to take a nap. Right. Yeah, I got to right. take a nap. Um, uh, I was a huge Spice Girls fan. And yeah. there was Emma, who was Baby Spice. No way. Crazy about her. Yeah. Really? I, I had the opportunity. When I was in, you know, like second or third grade, I asked the teacher to call me Emma, but they didn't, it didn't ever <laughs> stick. But then I had the chance to do it permanently, and here I am. I love have that. You, have you met the, the yeah. Spice Girls since? I have. Does oh she know that? God, I've met that? the Spice Girls now. I think I think she does, because she, she gave me now. a really special T-shirt that she had signed. It was like, from one Emma to another kind of thing. It was pretty cool. Did you keep it together? or did you I just did not totally keep it together at that? all. At all. But oh. I will say, the night before I met them, we were going to their concert in England when they when they you know, had done, they did like a reunion tour a couple of years ago in 2019. And the night before I went to a, um, a party at somebody's house and the magician David Blaine was there okay. and yeah. he did a, uh, a, just an astounding trick. You know, right. he, he did this, this card an trick illusion. and then it was this whole thing and it was an illusion, an illusion, yeah. if you will. And he, and it was like, he, and he pulled up his phone and the card was reflected in a picture on someone's phone, you know, in the, in the glasses of someone on a boat. And it was this crazy thing. And I got so excited. Now this is a tale as old as time because I'm about to tell you a story from yesterday as well. Mm. Mm. I got so excited that I ran, 
I was like, I can't stand it because I'm such a big <laughs> fan of magic and I couldn't stand it. And I ran and I was wearing these, <laughs> these heeled boots and I slipped on the wood floor. This is the night before the Spice Girls concert. <laughs> slipped, my arm went back out behind no. me and I broke my face. Fucking shoulder. When was no. the Blaine responsible 2019, for that? 2019, the summer of 2019. So the next day I'm supposed to go to the Spice Girls concert. And I was like, there is no way on earth I'm missing this. So we got in England one of these, you know, things from Boots, the drugstore, this sure. little sling. And I, I hadn't even gotten an x-ray yet. And I went and I was in so much pain that actually meeting the Spice Girls under those circumstances was probably better so I mm. couldn't do that in front of so them instead. And your excitement yeah. was so tempered by the pain It was so in. tempered by the pain that I was like, it's amazing to meet you guys. Oh my <laughs> God. Like it was mm. so brutal. It was yeah. broken in two places. And then yesterday, I uh, I have bone density issues. That's clear because okay. I broke my toe yesterday. No. Kicking something? I did. Are you kidding me? Doing what? On what? Getting out of the shower. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, well, you shouldn't be lying down in the shower. What do you mean getting I out? I know. <laughs> you, accident, are you, you, accident, you stubbed it I on something? Slammed, I slammed it into something, and now it it's completely so black and blue good. and, like, all oh. messed up, and so I've been icing it all day. And you're anyway, sick, oh. and you showed up for us today. God bless you. Yeah, you how know, did you not cancel? I, it's a dream. This is incredible. Are you kidding me? I'm sitting on a computer at, on, uh, with, with headphones. This <sighs> is lovely. Half of one of those excuses would have made me cancel this thing. God, really? I was just thinking. I, would no, give, this is, I was so excited for this. I would give anything for improved bone density. Yeah. Well, Sorry, <laughs> just sidebar. <Yeah>. Sidebar. <laughs> Wait, Sorry. So we need to take, um, what is it, Boniva or something? Yeah, there's some, Boniva. There's some pill to help our bone density. But I've broken seven bones. Before I was 30, what? I broke seven bones. Emma. Isn't that crazy? Well, wow. uh, so you, then you Something's seriously looked into me. this. You you seriously do have yeah, bone density I have issues? Yeah, there's an endocrinologist was like, we got to talk about this. Like, something's up with you. Right. And uh, did he come up with anything? Just that I need to take a lot of vitamin D and calcium and do apparently weight-bearing exercises, like heavy lifting uh, is what creates more bone density. Well, you could just drink milk and eat, uh, like, dumplings from Chin Chin, like Sean. Jesus. <laughs> he has a glass of milk four times a day? Is that no, right? No, I, I have a glass of milk with, with dinner every night. No, oh, you don't. I really do. Yeah. You should You're joking. It. Why not? Yeah, it's yeah. good for you. That's... Okay. Chris, it's good for milk. you. It's vitamin Will C. Will you sit at dinner drinking a glass of milk? Yeah, yeah. I saw, it, it I saw it a week ago. <laughs> it was so I just, I just. Stopped. Are you just doing it to be adorable, or you really enjoy it? No, he, I mean, this is what he does. No, I, Sean, I, I it's milk, like you know why? Beaver. You know Sean why? Because lives, he lives like he's in the fifties. It's yeah. incredible. Twelve years because in the because 50s. water's too boring and soda has too much sugar. So I just drink milk. Well, they, you know they have zero sugar soda now. Not into it. Mm. So listen. Uh, I want to sit wow. by the way, since we're on medical I stuff. I wish this was just a gallon of milk that I was sitting <laughs> right now. Right. Like, be that's so, so fascinating. Good. Wait, that's to, but is it true, because you have, one of the, you have one of those cool, like, million, billion dollar voices, too. Is it true that you, first of all, didn't know you had a, a, asthma until you had an asthma attack while filming Easy A, which I read? Yes. And the other thing is, wow. did you really have a condition when you were a baby because you cried too much? Call and it me. made your voice. Is that true? Yeah. Because you were yes. colicky, that, you, that gave you a raspy voice? like, extremely colicky for five wow. months. What's colicky? Can mean? you imagine? Now having a kid, I, I cannot imagine having a colicky baby to that extent. Five, five What's months. What does that mean, colicky? Colic is uh, apparently a condition where your stomach is killing you. Like, there's you're in a lot of pain. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. It's like Welcome, everything son. I can talk about is just my medical. No, trauma. I know. It's fascinating. But here's what I think it is. It is, it is the, it is the uh, intestines or yeah. part, of, part of the GI tract that is still developing and unkinking itself. And there is a kink oh. in the hose that yes. is not, it still needs to grow to release itself. And it takes a couple of weeks. And yep. the babies are miserable. Miserable. Yeah. So it was like if I was awake, I was screaming myself hoarse every day. And I think yeah. it was very, very traumatizing for my parents. Yeah, I see. You know, you know what's good for bone density is those um those the astronauts <laughs> you know that thing that the, the power plate thing that vibrates, that's supposed to be good for bone density. Oh thanks, yeah. bro. Isn't that kind yeah. of a fifties thing too? Yeah. I don't a little know, belt man. around you that shakes. I read it once over a glass of milk. I was trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. Let's get to the career stuff because it's really interesting. To me. Okay, great. Wait, yeah, how yeah, old your? Go. How old? No, hang on. How old's your baby? Let's just do a quick. How old's your baby? Two and a half. Two Aww, and a half. sweet boy, girl. 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 Oh, sweet. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. That's so fantastic. Book, yeah. Congratulations and thank you so much. Yeah. 
thing. With your husband who you met at SNL. Is, did you meet him at SNL? Truly? Dave, Dave McCary? Yeah. And is he, what, what does he do with uh, SNL? He, he was a, a writer director there for about five years. Oh, nice. Doing digital shorts. And you met him there? Uh, I met him there, yeah. But oh, we had a bunch okay. of mutual friends, so, yeah. So great. I love yeah. that. Yeah. I feel like I was there that week, too, although you've probably hosted a few times. I, I, I remember I was I remember being there once when you were hosting and I was just like oh she's I guys wait it. hold on I'm gonna host on December second I get to get my five oh, timers no. jacket no, no way, no way. I'm great. so excited so I can't awesome. even stand it I'm I'm like I'm freaking oh, out you're so good at it uh, that's really really cool wait so Emma you and Dave married in the pandemic and was that just because it was planned that way and you just kept it or were you like you know what let's just do this now you were we waiting can't. for a pandemic weren't you didn't you guys say you wanted to get married but let's wait for a pandemic to hit I read <laughs> just that somewhere trim the fat a little bit on the invite list <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know smart the week that I got married I, I did open a refrigerator and the handle broke off and I got a black eye oh my, oh my god. god oh my god you need a helmet. and that's where it stops you know i do need oh a helmet my god. i need a oh helmet my... and extensive that's therapy. Good. you got this new show with nathan fielder i want to skip ahead i know she's your guest oh yeah but that, uh, that looks really <laughs> i know she's your guest but i'll take this one but yeah. say, it looks really fun first of all he's great and not just because he he's canadian he's super funny yeah you're super funny and when i first saw the ad for it i was like these motherfuckers, and then they got one of those safties in there. Yeah, they oh, sure yeah. did. Put a wig and the, on him. Then the three took the boom out of his hand and said, "Go." <laughs> this is like a fucking. This is like a fucking talent explosion yeah, exactly. happening in one what thing. Happened? I'm so goddamn excited for this thing. I haven't. Seen, yeah, I'm me too. so excited for this. It's a wild ride. That one. Tell yeah. us about how did that come to you to your orbit? Nate. So Nathan and I have known each other through through Dave and and uh, Dave's best friend Kyle Mooney have been. I love, good love friends. Kyle Mooney. Huge. He's, and they've been best friends since they were nine years old. So oh wow. They're, yeah, and and so Nathan uh, knew Dave and Kyle well, and and I got to know Nathan uh, for a couple years, and then I think in twenty twenty. 2019, maybe, uh, Nathan called me and said that he and Benny Safdie had come up with this kind of loose idea for a show based on something that Nathan had really experienced where someone had said that they curse him mm -hmm. huh. in a moment. And <laughs> he was like, this probably isn't true, but he found that it haunted him. Sure. And they started coming up with this sort of premise of what, what would happen if you're kind of going about your life and they had this idea for this couple who is trying to create their own HGTV show. But early on, <laughs> right. the husband, a, a little girl says, I, I curse you. Mm. And if that hangs over the, the premise of this whole show mm -hmm. and how that evolves and kind of makes them go crazy, um, whether it's, you know, real or not. And it just sort of spiraled out from there and became this, this very... Uh, intense uh show it's really it it is a comedy but it's kind of not a comedy kind of dark yeah, yeah. It, it's very uh yeah it's, there's a there's a lot going on there so it was it, no it was a blast and we were we were in um in new mexico for like half of last year um shooting that and, and say the title again the curse yeah the curse i see posters yeah. for it everyone and say the title one more time and just, one, just um, for the third time just so i'm um, so um, the curse. <laughs> well, I want to talk about. I want to talk about poor things too, which oh, is yeah. a movie that you have coming out. The oh, brilliant Yorgos am, Lanthimos. I'm going to go see it this week. You are? Yeah. I can't. Where wait. are you going to see it? I'm seeing it uh, at one of the screenings because I'm going. Yeah, like I'm going to be at those. Yeah. I'll, well, I'll see uh, you there. I just got a text for it. Yeah. Oh, great! Was it me texting you to come? Oh, to the it was you. Well, oh. do you. Do you go by Emma Stone? No. Oh shit! It is. <laughs> yeah, you. yeah, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> was this, this is the yeah. second project with Yorgos? Yes. It was technically the third because we made a short film um, at the beginning of 2020, and then so, but it was it was. This yes, guy, it was the this guy second is just one. so He's brilliant. Amazing. We made He's another a... one in the meantime. We made another really? one in New Orleans last year. No, yeah. really? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, with with uh, with Willem. With, with Willem, Willem, yeah, Willem's yeah. in Poor Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor so things. we've done yeah. two together. And so for my for my sister Tracy, um, Yargos did The Favorite, The Lobster, just a bunch of How great to kill movies. a sacred deer. Like, incredible. Dog Tooth, which is yeah. Wild. So Poor Things. So so did you develop it? Did you find it? Like, did you just get an offer? Like, how did that come? We so so. Yorgos and I did The Favorite uh, in 2017, and right as we were wrapping up The Favorite, 
he told me about this book that he and Tony McNamara, who was the writer of The mm-hmm. Favorite, mm-hmm. had had optioned and they were working on adapting. And he just told me the premise of it. And I was like, I I beg of you, I have to do this with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so for the next few years, we uh, worked on things and started kind of putting it all together. And, um, and he asked me to be a producer on it, which was amazing. And so we kind of like assembled this team. And then uh, at the end of 2021, why do I keep saying all the dates? Yeah, I don't know. Because you're like oh, Will. You have incredible recall on dates. I, have, I do everything by date. So Really? Month and year, yeah, yeah. Me too. Everybody's birthdays. Do you oh, forget yeah. a birthday? Oh, can you forget a birthday once I can forget it? a birthday, but if you say, like, hey, like, we, I, I can say, like, oh, yeah, like, it was that time of year, that year. It was year. this month. March year, of 2023, yeah, he knows uh-huh. a difference between April uh-huh. of 21 and March of 24. I, 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 maybe I function similarly. Yeah. I, but, Crazy. But anyway, so, so anyway, so we made it. We made it two years ago, and um, and yeah, it's just it's it's uh, it's probably my favorite my favorite thing I've ever gotten to do. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait. So with you, you you work all the time, constantly. It seems like, which is great, and everybody can't get enough of you. And oh. so when you go from <laughs> when you go from set to set, other than your child, do you have like something? How do you set it up so it's home? Or how do you set it up so it feels like, all right, I need to have at least this, this, and this in my trailer or this, this, and this with me? What a fun question. I'll tell you, I'll tell you three things that always keep me company, no matter yeah. where I am. Coke? App. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Big right. plate of Coke. <laughs> <laughs> just, you, you got to get through it. It's like obsessed with runner. the idea that I'm on Coke just because <laughs> I'm on cold medicine. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Jason. Go with it. You know, They're just suffering it. through this on cold medicine. <laughs> she's here on, on, she's I know. on a sick I, day. I have here. a broken I can't believe it. A I broken know. foot. I'm okay. near death. I know, I can't believe yeah. it. Um, no, I uh, apples and peanut butter. <laughs> really? Really? Every day for a snack, I have apples and peanut butter. Every day I have a Starbucks coffee. Doesn't mm-hmm. matter where I am. Could be in the greatest coffee places mm-hmm. in the world. Europe, wherever. Doesn't matter. Find a Starbucks. And what's your choice? A coconut misto. <laughs> coconut misto. What? No embarrassing misto. To say. what is it? A coconut what? It's, listen, they make you say misto, which you know the Starbucks oh, lingo God. where they make you say these things. It's a venti I won't do it. coffee, just a regular I say venti. filter coffee, it's a large. drip coffee, it's large. a large, with steamed coconut milk. Okay. And that's the, that's the misto part? That's the misto. That's what mm-hmm. makes it a misto. Mm-hmm. So that's not a latte. It's not a latte. No, because it's not espresso. So you have apple. By the way, I have peanut butter and rice cakes always. Uh, every day? Oh, well, that's my treat. That's my snack. That's your treat? Yeah, that's my snack yeah. for like in a minute after. Peanut butter and rice cakes? Oh, I love that. That's a that's healthy it. treat. It's not like you go and get all the Twizzlers from the... Why, why do you guys crafty? go with just the apple or just the rice cake? Why do you need to spread all the fatty... Nut peanut butter. butter gives you a little hit of protein and That's a right. big hit of joy. Yeah, a lot of sugar. I like yeah. the peanut butter with Enjoy. the apples. It's delicious. Uh, Sean, explain for not for Tracy, but for Jason what joy is. <laughs> it's another kind of peanut butter. <laughs> not for Tracy. Or no, that's Jiffy. <laughs> um, Emma, like when yes. I, I you, you were so fucking phenomenal in the favorite, and you won for the favorite, right? No, yes, she did. did you? No. <laughs> yes. Nominated? No, I mean, she yes, he did. No. She, was, she was fantastic, though. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nominated. Yeah. Wait, but what was the, is that? You won a nomination that, is what I meant. <laughs> did you really not win? I can't remember. You did win. Not for the not for the favorite, no. Well, which one did you win for? La La La. Oh, that's Christmas. right, La La. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I fucking love that movie, too. Yeah. Um, God, you're so that's fucking That's a good. T- truly embarrassing thing to have to sit here and say. No. Not for, not for that one. Sure. No, I want to know. I asked. Oh, I want to know. For everything. Um, but wait, the favorite was you were super. My mom says that. I'm always a winner. Yeah, <laughs> and always her favorite, huh? Yeah, uh, exactly, uh, exactly. Uh, but was yeah. that because when I when I've seen that movie when I watched that movie I was like oh my god this just looks like a colossal amount of work that movie the favorite like it just looks so grand and so massive that's and just because a lot of it was in that fisheye lens that's what makes it look mm. so grand all right <laughs> you know what I mean that's a little trick of the trade that was in England yes that was maybe? in England and La La Land was here in Los it's Angeles. In LA. Yes. yes. Favorite favorite lot of, such a good movie. I just wanted so to good. apart from the work that, you know, these guys are so tired. But <laughs> I I that movie was so good, Emma Stone. Aww. We'll be right back. 
Smartless fans, listen up. Have you heard you can listen to episodes of this very show ad-free and one week early on Amazon Music with your Prime membership? That's right. All your favorite Smartless episodes can be heard on Amazon Music ad-free, and you'll always be the first one to catch our new episodes so you can brag to your friends. But that's not all. You can listen to your other favorite shows like, I don't know, Bad Dates and Just Jack and Will, early and ad-free too. They also have favorites like The Daily, Pardon My Take, and Up First, all without any ads. You know what this means? Uninterrupted listening, so no more cliffhangers. Amazon Music offers the most ad-free top podcasts, so we know they definitely have something for you. And it's already included in your Prime membership. To listen now, all you need to do is go to amazon.com slash smartless. That's amazon.com slash smartless, or download the Amazon Music app. It's just that easy. This episode is brought to you in part by Rocket Money. Did you know... Over 80% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about. It's too easy to subscribe to a free trial of something and then completely forget about it once you stop using it, right as the monthly charges start rolling in. That's why Rocket Money is here. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. With Rocket Money, you can easily cancel the ones you don't want with just the press of a button. No more long hold times or annoying emails with customer service. Rocket Money does all the work for you. Rocket Money can even negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Rocket Money also lets you monitor all your expenses in one place, recommends custom budgets based on your past spending, and they'll even send you notifications when you reached your spending limits. Isn't that cool? With over 5 million users and counting, Rocket Money has helped save its customers an average of $720 a year and $1 billion in total savings so far. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions and manage your money the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash smartless. That's rocketmoney.com slash smartless, rocketmoney.com slash smartless. This episode is brought to you in part by Macy's. If you're feeling the holiday time crunch, get all the gift inspo using Macy's Gift Finder. Navigate through the holiday hustle with ease using their helpful search options like shop by price. You can shop gifts by budget, whether it's $25, $50, or Lux. Shop by gift lists. Discover curated unique lists for all the personalities in your life. Is your loved one a spa day enthusiast? An advent calendar fan? A big sports fan? Macy's has got you covered. You can even find curated gift lists from your fave influencers. Shop by category. Explore top picks in beauty, fragrances, jewelry and watches, handbags and accessories, and more. And that's not all. You'll find packaged and ready-to-give gifts, top-rated customer favorites, secret Santa inspiration, and delightful stocking stuffers. So why stress? Head to Macy's.com slash gift finder and uncover the perfect presents for everyone on your list. This holiday season, make it memorable with Macy's. And now back to the show. Um, was that that one of the hardest things you've ever done? That what was the what's the hardest one you've ever done? Oh God! Physically, emotionally, both, whatever. La La Land had a bunch of stuff in oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah. you gotta learn. Uh, how to dance the the hardest thing I've ever done was on stage. Yeah. Mm. By far. Sean loves stage stories. I do. You know, I do. Well, I've only done one professional stage show. That what went wrong? Like, like ten what went years wrong? ago. Oh, you want a what went wrong story? I want a, like a bad oh, theater story. Well, but here's the, I did I did cabaret and I only oh, did it right. for for three and a half months, which is that's so right. short by by stage terms. But enough. I thought I truly going into it, I was so beyond excited. It was it was probably the greatest experience of my life for the same reason. And I was like, oh, you just do it at night, and then you do two right. shows a day on Wednesday, and you do two on Saturday, and uh, it's just and then you're at home and you're just it, it, your entire life is eaten. The, yep. And it is so hard. You have to live like a monk. Mm-hmm. Like, there's nothing, or at least I did, because I lose my voice and I just sing, and it was like, I've I've never experienced something that that physically uh, taxing as an actor. Yeah. It was, it I, was I'm sure. unreal. I'm sure. So that was and, the hardest. And when you, when you, but did you, did anything go massively wrong? Do you have, like, a, a, a any kind of night where you're just like, oh, shit, well, my voice, nothing came out when I sang? Oh, or oh somebody yeah, came, I mean, I had to take steroids house. multiple times. Yeah, like, d- No, yeah, no heart attacks in the house, thank God, but that's, there, there are a lot of those stories. But, that, no, I, I um, just to add to my, you know, things that are wrong you with broke me, a bone. I'm extremely blind, blind, blind as a bat. Okay. And really? I wear uh, contacts for that. Uh, okay. And 
they both popped out of my eyes while I was singing Maybe This Time. <laughs> really? And there's and it cuts you must have to really been reaching for a note. It cuts to, I was really yeah, I'm always reaching for those notes. As I'm not a, a singer per se. Uh -huh. And the and the lights went dark and you, and you have to, you know, go off in the in the blackout. And I couldn't see a oh my thing God. in the yeah. world. And I just went and like slammed it. It was terror that getting off stage not being able to see it all is was That's And then terrifying. couldn't find the contacts, right? They were on the floor in the Couldn't find block. it, but I know I always bring spares. I have oh, to okay. travel with spares. Yeah. It's very It'd be great important. if you did the rest of the play with glasses on, would have been great. If you came back out with glasses. Been great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all of it has it gives me so much anxiety. But um, oh, when God. when you, I always had a fear, Sean, of getting hiccups on stage. Yeah, I had that too. Oh my too. God, that's a great. Fear. Have you had hiccups on stage? No, but I had one thing where I had like allergies, and I could feel the post nasal drip in the back, and oh, it was no. right before I had to sing. What do you get when you fall in love? You know, with Chris yeah. and Sean. Yeah, sure. And um, I was literally like, what? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Like forever. <laughs> oh god! It was the worst. Panic, tears, because I couldn't cough, but I had to act like I was everything. It's the I have a million. Well, you guys, okay, I, I'm so about it. to I'm about to tell you guys something that I think that you're not going to enjoy. Oh, I know boy. Jason's not going to enjoy this. Oh no! Uh, what do you do when you get? I'm going to ask you guys. For, I'm going to go around okay. to the panel here. What do you guys do when you get the hiccups? Do you have like a surefire? I, I do. don't have one. I have, I have a cure. Like Emma, go, Emma, Emma, go first. I have a cure, but people tell me that I'm wrong. But if not, if you do it right, okay. Yeah. Here's the thing. The, yeah, you don't scream at people. This do you? is the solve. Put your arm up above your head. Just take left one arm, arm put it up above high. your head. Well, there just because I'm I'm right-handed, so if you're if you're left-handed, you could do it. With Drivers don't do this. You take your yeah. don't do it if you're driving. Now take water, okay. and you're gonna and I'm talking like tiny sips. You go swallow, 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 swallow as you lower your arm slowly. <laughs> Well, nothing's going to happen because none of look at all of us. None of us have like hiccups. We're all hiccups. doing it. Well, we're just practicing. God. Listeners, we're all doing it. We're practicing. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is a hundred percent. I feel incredible. If you do it correctly, really, I feel amazing. What do you guys do, Sean or Jay? I, 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 I nothing. I, 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 um, I wish I had something. I nothing. take a deep breath. Try this. And um, and I kind of let it feel it kind of go away, and then I take water while I'm holding my breath. It all seems right. to work. I've never told anybody. I've never told anybody this. This is this is absolutely true, and I can't believe I'm telling it. Uh -oh. We're ready. Uh, anytime I get the hiccups, uh, and I remember one time vividly years ago, our buddy Edgar Wright would did this thing um, called "Don't," which was like a it was like a fake movie trailer between uh, uh, there was a, a double bill like a, a Robert Rodriguez film or whatever, and he made this fake trailer, and I did the voice for it. anyway i remember going to record the trailer voice because i do don't even breathe don't even blah blah blah. i mm -hmm. did this whole thing right it was in the west village at this recording place and doing the thing and i'd had a soda i think and i got the hiccups because i was mm -hmm. taking in so much air and i was like what the fuck this is where i learned it and i was like uh just give me a second i just gotta because i'm like hiccuping on you know trying to record and i go into the bathroom uh -oh. <laughs> and i stick my finger down my throat and I make myself ugh, gag and throw up a little bit. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. Gone. I get and I it. I came back out and I finished. And that's what I do every time when I get the hiccups now. I go, excuse me. I get it. That is disgusting. Were you just gambling that There's that would a work? better way, Will. <laughs> I don't know. It works. Do you, do you fully throw up or do you Sometimes. just gag? Ew. You, well, it depends yeah. on where I'm at. You know what I mean? <laughs> depends you on what's going on. You hate hiccups that much that you'll just make I yourself hate. puke? I hate hiccups. I will well, make myself. But this was, oh were you just God. gambling that this would work, or was this something you kind of read about? I was just gambling. I had no idea, and I just did it. Wow, that is. Huh. I did not know this. You have a tattoo on your arm or your wrist or somewhere? My wrist. I want to see. Very, a very, very, very poorly done tattoo. Look at this. Now, this was supposed to be, I just want you to understand. Yeah. This was based Cactus. off of a drawing that was drawn with a pencil. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It looks like bird feet. Does uh -huh. that look like a pencil? Is it a cactus? It looks it's like a bird pitchfork. feet, and it yeah, bleeds out feet. more and more every single year. I got it 13 years ago, wow. and it just keeps spreading. spreading? I, in 20 years, oh, this no. is just going to be... What kind of half-assed tattoo you artist? Were you, were you in a French prison or something? I went <laughs> into just kind of a random tattoo place on 14th Street, and no. I, I was just... Yes! Why didn't you consult with the, with the Why didn't you consult with the sleeveless one? He could have hooked you up with a, with a great tattoo and, artist. And now I've gone to to good tattoo artists and said, "Can I get this lasered off and redone?" And they were like, "Your skin is so thin there that it's probably just going to look like your 
burnt. Like it might be worse. Oh, really? So wait, I don't so, know what to do. And with your it. mom got the same one? My mom, my dad, my brother. I mean, the story behind it is so special, but it was like, and theirs all look great, by the way. Really? Because they all went to better tattoo people. And I was like, I'm the one who's covered up for work every day. And it's like raised up. It's really. Don't you hang out with Thoreau just a little bit? Oh, Justin? I know Thoreau. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so he could have hooked you up with somebody with the, maybe a, a better I needle. didn't know him then. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was 2010. I love that your whole family has it, though. Any thoughts on Justin? This Don't was October wanna, of 2010, Will. You I remember. Love I love that. I love that. By the way, I, didn't, I wasn't going to say it before, but, you know, when we shot The Rocker, it was June of 2007. Okay. I so, know. Okay. <laughs> I know you That's know. So crazy. I know you know. I know you know. Um, uh, <laughs> I've been... Uh, that is, yeah. Jason brought up a good point. Any thoughts on Thoreau? And by the way, this is a safe, safe. <laughs> Anything space. hurtful that you can think yeah. of? Another yeah. segment um, we're introducing. Well, yeah. you know, he he suffers from eczema. There we go. Does well, he really? That's why he doesn't he wear sleeves because he's proud yeah. and he wants to show that's it. That's right. No, that's not. That's, that's right. not true. Really? Where's his eczema? Riz, is he a sky rizzy guy? Well, I don't know if he really does <laughs> suffer from eczema. It's just we, you know, we've had a lot. We've had skincare conversations. As I'm sure you, you know, imagine, we once you know. we once we once put on his uh, Wikipedia page that he cries when he orgasms. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's true. Uh, Kim, Kimmel. Did once, someone uh, take it off? He did. He did. He did, he did. <laughs> he did. He did like he an hour later. Did. I yeah. guess he got an alert or something. Yeah, Kimmel knows how to like break into someone's Wikipedia page. <laughs> he put the it in wrong there. person oh, to know right. how to do it too. Yeah, I love that. Will you guys put something on my Wikipedia page? Of Don't put that one. Put something mm, different. No, yeah, we'll we'll put Jimmy's brain. <laughs> We're gonna on put it. cries when Justin <laughs> Thoreau orgasms. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Please don't put that. <laughs> oh, it would be funny. See how long it would it lasts. be funny though. <laughs> Can I ask funny. about like early, early? Because you have a brother, right? I have, I have a younger you brother. You close with your brother? Very. Yeah. Oh, that is he in the it's biz? Just the two of us. No, no, he works in at like a tech company. And growing up, did, was he interested or no? He was less like, you, you do that. I'm going to go over here. Not at all. He played football. Oh, yeah. Really? Where was home? Where did you grow up? Scottsdale, Arizona. Arizona. With the poop. With the poop. Remember, oh, the right, remember right, earlier? Right, that the, was the same the conversation. Huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how long have you been talking? Remember from before? It was like 20. <laughs> um, what did you say? What did you say? How long from have earlier. Been <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, good thoughts, good feelings about Arizona. Do you miss it out there? You still have family out there? I do, yeah, I still have family out there. It, the thing about Arizona is it's so hot. Mm -hmm. It's so yeah, oppressively it's hot. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's difficult to I, you need to be built for that kind of heat and I I'm not. It's not a fun heat. It's no. not a fun heat at all. <laughs> right. It's like 120 <laughs> degrees yeah, daily. Yeah, that's um, We're gonna and uh, I wanna I wanted to ask you this because we're gonna end on an industry business question. I love a, a biz a biz. Cue. I love the biz industry. I yeah. love the biz industry. I love I love the heat. I love the buzz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you you know a lot of people who win an Oscar like you did for La La Land. They, you were amazing, so deserved. I loved that movie. I loved you in it. Did you, Couple um, a lot of people who win, sometimes it's, it's known as the <laughs> curse of death with some actors. But well, you, first of you, all, I should ask, are you guys locked? Or before I give you these? Are you picture locked <laughs> yeah. on La La Land? Yeah. Because you got the Oscar, great. But a couple things. Were it me? <laughs> <laughs> and it's I just tried a little harder. I got some, I got some notes. Yeah. I got Go for you. I was gonna say, how did you? Were you nervous? Did you did you have anxiety? You're like, oh my god, this is so great! I won the Oscar, but did you have, did you feel like? I don't know. A lot of the times, some actors who win Oscars, you kind of don't see them for a long, like years and years and years. Were you? Did you have anxiety about like, crap? I won. Now people are sick of me. Hmm, nope. Sure, right. nobody no. felt that way. I, why no, so not that I was. No, but just who the like, fuck would, what, what kind yeah, of what psycho? Kind of first. Thought is Sean, you put that out there in the world. Why do you? Okay, they must so hate me now. okay, Sean, would you tell us now how I know you feel? How Sean felt. No, no, when not, you won the Tony, wow. is that what you okay. were saying? When you're walking up the <laughs> stage to get the Tony, uh, check uh, Sean off my list. I know how he Sean, feels about Sean. Thanks for having Emma me Stone. today. Yeah. <laughs> Emma, that came out wrong. <laughs> what, I, what, what I meant was, like, did you have anxiety about, like, I'm not going to work? People are like, people think must think like, oh, we, you made it. So I left. That this was a very lucky situation because I. I had I met Yorgos while we were filming La La Land, and I left the day after the Oscars to go shoot the favorite. 
Oh, that's great. So it was kind of amazing because the next day I went right back to work and was back in. Did you have time to renegotiate your deal on your way to location? <laughs> yes. So that was, I did delay Bye. my flight for a couple hours just to call, just to call my lawyer. But um, By the way, that was. reopen just the salary a portion? A new deal points that I'd <laughs> yeah. love to. Uh... No, but by the way, um, that was a big compliment is what I know. I know, come out that I'm way. completely okay, okay. fucking. Okay, okay, okay. How many <laughs> great, because you've been, you've been nominated, uh, I'm sure a million times for it, lots I think of it's great, a mil it's a million lots yeah, yeah. of great awards <laughs> do you have do you have do you have a bunch of great unused uh acceptance speeches no what no I bet you do no I bet you I bet, no but I bet I bet you give some thought some respectful time and some thought to what you would say up there you're not one of these ingrates that would just ah, if I win I win I'll just go up there and wing it I bet you've got some fun stuff that you said, I just, my dream is to have like a book, a, a co coffee table book of people's unused acceptance speeches. That's a that great idea. That's a really good, good idea. That's a yeah. really good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Huh? That, maybe yeah. you should, maybe you should start compiling It'd that. It'd have to be anonymous though, wouldn't it? Well. Right? The, uh, the people with the speeches? Yeah, because I guess it would be, but then how do you do an anonymous acceptance speech? Everyone would know who it was, like the people they're thanking. And what were you right. going to say for the rocker? Yeah. <laughs> if you had gotten up there for the rocker, well, who would you thank first? Probably just Will. Yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, God. Just Will. Thanks even, for being our guest today. I don't even. Yeah. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no, but you think you um, got nominated for you got nominated for La La Land, which you won. You got nominated for the favorite, favorite. and you got nominated for Silence. The Birdman. Is it the Birdman? Yeah. Yes. Birdman. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And so you had to work with Galifianakis. Oh God, I know. Oh, what Can a you fucking. Okay, what yeah. a is there a nightmare. least? Is there a, is there a less talented guy in uh, showbiz yeah. than Zach Galifianakis? <laughs> you know, from from your lips to God's ears. I know. <laughs> I, agree. I couldn't agree more. He was he was so so sweet that whole oh, time. Anyway, best. yeah, no, he really is. Yes. Uh, what are you gonna do um, for us tonight? And are you watching Golden Bachelor? No. What's Golden Bachelor? I love oh, that wow. answer. I love Very that answer. answer. What is called The Bachelor? It's The Bachelor, but you don't an older need to guy. Know. You should never know what it is, Emma Stone. This is why you are you, because mm -hmm. you don't know. What I'm just Golden out here Bachelor breaking is. bones, getting sick, <laughs> yep. not watching Golden Bachelor. Um, well, now I'm going to look it up and watch it. You went through a phase. It. Sean went through a phase where he was breaking bones, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Early 20s, Chicago. Hey, hey. Oh, God. Hey, Emma, <laughs> cool it, all right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about um, that. <laughs> Emma Stone, we're gonna let you go. We're gonna let you heal. We're gonna let you get better. We're gonna make you feel better. We're gonna. I'm gonna send some soup over. You don't need to send anything. All right, good. Uh, it'll be okay. Great. <laughs> yeah, no, I won't do that. Uh, I just saved myself a call to my assistant. So. Uh, <laughs> Thank but you guys that, for having me. I'm sorry I was such a, uh, you know. Uh, you're, what are you you're talking the best about? You're like incredibly fast hour. Huge, huge, you huge, huge fan. Huge you're the fan. Best. Very, such a massive very fan. Sweet. You're such a, you're a, you're a, literally, you're a mega talent. Yeah. That's, mega. Yeah. True. Huh? Truly. That's, you guys. Emma. Right? Emma Thank Stone. Thank you guys so solid. much. Solid. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yes. Mental All the best. Okay, Feel the better. Hey, hey, Emma, one thing. I want you to remember one thing. Yeah. And I, I hope you've lived by this credo. Uh -oh. You can always say this to every any guy. If you want to be my lover, first you got to get with my friends. <laughs> Will? If you want to be my lover, okay. you got to get beautiful. with my friends. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. so much. Spice Girls lyrics? I will take that with me. <laughs> okay, got it. You're welcome. You it's not like... knowing that that was a Spice Girls lyric <laughs> well, imagine... is one of the more painful things. Well, I've... imagine what I thought because I didn't know it was a lyric. I just thought he was just saying that stupid, crazy sentence. No. Like, <laughs> what? I was trying to connect with <laughs> Did her. you just call the Spice Girls yeah. stupid and crazy for oh, their wow. lyrics? Or not a lyric hey, if it was just this wow. goodbye sentence for a podcast wow. interview. Hey, and where this is where I log off. What about when James Cameron, <laughs> when James Cameron won the Academy Award for Best Director of Titanic? Uh -huh. I had not seen the movie, but when he walks up on stage, he says, I'm king of the world. Did you thought, say you've never seen Titanic? At the time, I had not seen it. Okay. When I saw him go I, up on stage I've and say, I'm it. king of the world, okay. I thought, oh well, no, what did he just say? I've never seen it, I know. Yeah. Oh my God. The guys, you got a lot of homework to do. I Jason's know. listening to Wannabe by the Spice Girls. Will, you're watching Titanic. And yeah. Sean, just get get Ricky, you know. <laughs> Fix your cat. Get him a little Fix, fix, cat. fix your cat. <laughs> Emma, <laughs> thank you for okay, being here. Thank, thank you. Guys. Bye, honey. Feel thank better. You. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. Bye bye. Good night. Sean, you were right.
Great guess. She, she did it while she was sick. So nice for her to show Sick. Up. Sick as a dog. This is worth, you know, when we do these late night records, it's, it's you know, the, the, the stakes are high that it, that it, that it be a good yeah. guest and yeah. you nailed well, it there. Let, let, By the way, for the record, it was a 4 p.m. record. So when you say late night, for most That's people, late. they have a different. Okay. Yeah. But the other thing is, I will say this, and this is a compliment to you, JB, not even a fucking, I'm not, there's no punchline. She has a great work ethic, like a lot of people I know who started young in, mm. I, who were young in, uh, as actors, direct, whatever. She has that same thing, and you have that same thing, mm. uh, which is she's sick, blah, blah, blah. I, in all the years I've done stuff with you, I've never known you to call in sick, not yeah. fucking once. Yeah. Oh, there was uh, plenty of times when I'd clear my day when it uh, was 3, 3 a.m. and I was, uh, Still having fun. Oh well, yeah, back. Sorry, except <laughs> back for the, the one, day. except for when you blew back in the day, your, back in the day. except for when you blew your colon out when we were doing that fight scene on Arrested <laughs> Development. You did. We did well, you fought just, too hard. You broke my fought, colon. I know that's true. Yeah. But uh, but anyway, she she does have that great thing. She's always just God. She's so good. You always when you start listening off the stuff that she does, and they're all so different. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just when an actor has <laughs> never sucked. Yeah, that's that's yeah. something. She's in that category. Yep. She's in that never sucked. It's uh, I. The, I always say John Goodman, number one. He's the first guy I always think of when I think never has never sucked. And she's in that category. There are few people who fall into that category, and she's one of them. Yeah, she's incredible. Um, I didn't get to ask her about... There I want comes. to talk more about La La Land, about how it was shot. Get ready, so, well. Next time, next time, next time. <sighs> Honestly, nobody better. Here it comes. Who's got it? Yeah, it, well, Someone's I love oh, Birdman, here too, here you know? Okay, here it comes. Oh, you know what I also yeah. like? Do you ever see Bye Bird Bye Birdie? I couldn't even do it. I couldn't even. Of course, you're going to do that. You're fired. Well, Sean. Bye Bye Birdie. Wait, what? No, <laughs> wait, 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 wait a second. You can't just no, start no, saying. That's, it's just, it's, it's tired. too. You're too tired. See, it's too late. It's too late to even come up with a bye. Well, I was going to say this. I love that she got her name from the baby Spice because she's such a fan of the Spice. Spice, girl. (laughs) (laughs) That's good. Spice, girl. Bye, everybody. Smart. Smartless is 100% organic and artisanally handcrafted by Bennett Barbaco, Michael Grant Terry, and Rob Armjarf. Smartless. Our next episode will be out in a week wherever you listen to podcasts, or you can listen to it right now early on Amazon Music, or early and ad-free by subscribing to Wondery Plus in Apple Podcasts or the Wondery app.